It is Instant Replay presented by Cheez-It coming at you from the AT&T MLS Studios. I'm Bobby Warshaw. Let's get straight into it. Let's get started in the 78th minute at Nippert Stadium, the Galaxy visiting Cincinnati in LA up two to nothing. Nick Haglund goes to win the ball off Sebastian Legette and he uh, does not win the ball. He does, however, get some cheek, eye, and ear. Marco de Oliveira calls the foul and thinks for a second about the color to show, ultimately deciding on a yellow. I know the visual is ugly. I mean, look at this, but you have to break it down. It's reckless, but it's not excessive. For me, yellow is the right decision. If Haglund had gone in with his studs exposed, no doubt red, see you later, send that man off. But this is Haglund attempting to win the ball in a fair manner. Well done by De Oliveira. I like this decision. Off to BC place with Vancouver hosting Colorado. It's the 30th minute and the Rapids lead two to nothing. Lucas Venuto plays the ball across and it hits Danny Wilson's hand. Fotis Bazakis waves play on. For me, it's the right call. Wilson's hand is by his side. He doesn't move it, and the ball barely travels before it hits his hand. That's the no-call trifecta. If the referee starts to call this type of handball, the world might explode. Nicely managed by Bazakos. 44th minute now. Rapids still leading two to nothing, and Diego Rubio brings down Ali Adnan. We show this not because it's debatable, it's a penalty like the sky is blue, but because I have a soft spot for players knowing when they can see the penalty and that look on their faces. Let's move to the 54th minute. Colorado lead two to one. It's a Rapids corner kick that quickly turns into a Caps counter. Lucas Venuto v Andre Shinyashiki. Venuto wins and Shinyashiki yanks him down. No doubt foul, no doubt it's at least a yellow, but is it a dog so red so? Fazako goes with just a yellow, but I would have given a red. It's far from goal, and one of the factors is distance from goal, plus Kelna Costa is booking it back, but Venuta probably wins that foot race and gets through to Tim Howard. Shinoshiki stops a breakaway here, even if it's a couple seconds from becoming a breakaway, and I would have sent him off. Just as Alan Chapman did on this one. Harrison Offal brings down Gerso Fernandez. No doubt dog so, no doubt red card. Dog so, red so, baby. Off to Providence Park for the next one. Houston visiting the Timbers. We start in the 34th minute when Ronaldo Pena goes in hard on Diego Char. The score is zero to zero at this point. This, to me, red card all day, every day. Boots high, leg extended, studs exposed, trifecta, excessive, and dangerous, Pena gets away with a yellow, but it should have been a red in my book. 58th minute now. The Timbers up one to nothing when Diego Valeri slips Marvin Loria through. Demarcus Beasley slides to make the challenge and Loria goes down. Alan Kelly points to the spot immediately. Bees doesn't like it. Loria drags the left leg and initiates the contact. How can you not see that referee? But. It looks to me like Beasley actually goes all the way through and gets Loria's right foot as well. I hate calling a penalty on the OG Bees. For me though, it's a good call. The next one came in the 63rd with Portland now up two to nothing. Valeri plays another dime, this time to Brian Fernandez, and Fernandez goes on to score. But if we stop it when the ball leaves Valeri's foot, is Fernandez offside? I'm looking at those lines on the field and it looks to me like Fernandez is a few inches beyond Beasley there. The flag should have gone up. With that said, I'm also okay with it staying down. No chance that's obvious to note for sure in the moment and no chance that's obvious to overrule with video review. Off we go now to Dallas to lay out some props. There were questions of offside on this Dom Baji goal that put Dallas up, and even Baji didn't appear sure, but when you pause it on the point of contact, on the initial shot, it's clear that Baji was onside. Well done by assistant referee Adam Winkowski and referee Kevin Stott. We finish at SeatGeek Stadium. It's the fifth minute and Alexander Katai buries a free kick to put the home side up one to nothing. 
But we're gonna go back 60 seconds to the foul that preceded the free kick. Dax McCarty goes down near Everton Louise. Louise does not like the call from Baltimore Toledo. McCarty tells him, you got me just enough. But I'm gonna say, it doesn't actually matter. Sometimes the attacker needs to get out of the way of harsh contact, even if he or she doesn't get touched. It should still be a foul. People can't go around sliding to ankles like that. I would have made this foul call too. Moving to the 32nd minute now, Chicago up one to nothing when Mo Adams tries to collect a ball in his own box and it goes wrong. The ball bounces up to his arm and Toledo points to the spot. It's tough to disagree. Adam shifts his body and arm toward the ball. Pano, thoughts? One last one from Bridgeview. It's the 60th minute, the score tied, when Nemanja Nikolic goes down in the box. Toledo says, play on. But there's definitely a little something from Kyle Beckerman on it. I'm gonna say that something is enough to be a foul. Beckerman's right foot hooks Nikolic's right foot. Notch it as soft, but a foul. In my eye, Chicago should have been given a penalty. That's it. Thanks to everyone that tweeted at us and used the hashtag instant replay. We'll see you next week.